everyone! Welcome back to Spiritual Essence. I'm so glad to have you back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you what to do with the pumpkin seeds that uh, you may have collected. I don't know about if you guys like pumpkin seeds or not. Uh, from the last time we did the jack-o'-lantern spell. So here I have them. So you guys should know that, you know, after you carve the pumpkin, that you separate the seeds from the orange stringy pulp. Um, some of it may have clung to it, like if you can see a little orange right there, uh, that's fine. As long as you get most of it away from the seed, because uh, when we dry it, it's just going to burn up anyway. Um, and then you uh, put it in a colander and you, you give it a good rinse. Uh, so that's what I have done and I've collected them all here. Um, so, the first thing you're going to do is uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. That's the first thing you do. And wait for it to fully preheat. Uh, the next thing you are going to get is a stick tray. Uh, my advice would be um, if you have a lot of pumpkin seeds, a big sp uh, stick tray, if it's a small batch, um, then I would suggest, of course, you know, a small one. I've already dried a, a few, uh, like half of these, and, um, I'll show you guys. And you can notice the difference in sound, too. So there's a difference in sound between the dry and, um, the, uh, uncooked pumpkin seeds. Also with looks too, because these are paler than the others. Um, so then you're going to take your pumpkin seeds and your stick tray. You're going to place them on. Now, um, that is not the end of it. Hold on, i got to get scrape a few off from the bowl. Okay. Because you don't, you don't want to waste any of this, you know. I paid like eight bucks a piece for those pumpkins, so I'm going to get something out of it. Now, you may see um, there's a little bit of stringy pulp, but that's fine. You know, if you can take some of that out, that's perfectly fine. I did try washing it. Uh, I washed it pretty good in the colander, but, you know, sometimes they just stick. And you're going to want to spread them out <clears throat> evenly. You don't want them on top of each other. You want to make sure that they are uh, well spaced out so that they dry evenly. <clears throat> just as much room as you can get. That's why I suggested the big colander, uh, colander, uh, stick tray. Separate them from each other if they're a little stick. Uh, now if you're planning to eat these, uh, just as regular pumpkin seeds, uh, they do say, you know, it's good to, like, lightly oil the pan with maybe, like, some olive oil or something. Um... Well, we are going to dry and powder these, so that will not be necessary. And not to mention, they're still slimy from the water that I rinsed them with, as well as the pumpkin pulp. So, uh, last time I did this, they did not stick, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to stick now. So, yeah, just try to spread them out. Alright, so uh, I just heard the oven beep, so now I'm going to place my stick tray full of pumpkin seeds and I'm going to put it in the way back of the oven. Close it. Now I'm going to time it for 30 minutes exactly. Alright, while well, our pumpkin seeds are baking, um, some of you may be asking why are we uh, powdering these? Um, I'm going to uh, show you, you know, how to uh, use them uh, in certain magical spells, and also they are really healthy for you. Pumpkin seeds are high in fiber. They've been linked to uh, preventing certain cancers. They're high in zinc. They are also uh, good for 
treating blood pressure and blood sugar. So antioxidant full. They are extremely healthy to eat. All right, it has been exactly 30 minutes. Let's see how they look. Ooh, look at that. All right, so um, once your pumpkin seeds have fully cooled, you're gonna get a, a blender. Um, you can use any kind of slicer, blender, or even if you have a coffee grinder, that would work too. You're gonna take the lid off. Make sure that's fully in place. These are the seeds that I dried uh, a day beforehand. Pour them in. Alright, as you can see here, we have powdered it. Got it to as fine of a powder as we possibly can. Now you are going to want to put it in a, some sort of container. It could be any kind of glass jar, Ziploc baggie. I have a Tupperware container, a Tupperware soup container. All right, if you dump a little, that's fine, but look at this. This is our dried pumpkin seed powder. It does kind of remind you of sawdust, doesn't it? Well, <clears throat> this is perfect for us. Now, what do we do with it? It's definitely something to put in your drinks or herbal uh, healing potions. Now, if we are using it for spells, what do we use it for? <clears throat> we can burn it for uh, protection. We can also burn it uh, to contact uh, certain spirits. And also, if you are using a binding spell, really good use. Mm. It smells just like popcorn. But those are uh, perfect uses for this. And as we move along in Spiritual Essence, I'm going to teach you how to use these properly. So if you don't get it right now, that is fine. I will teach you. I just wanted to show you in this video how to properly dry and powder pumpkin seeds. So now that you have learned that, um, I guess we can just end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Halloween.